My parents always said, Nick, you don't know what you can achieve until you try it. And uh, the doctors looked at me and said, he's not going to walk. He's not going to go to school. He's not going to do anything in his life. And then my parents, they just loved me like crazy and said, you got to try. Try this, try that, try this, try that. And I'm thinking sometimes like, mom and dad, you're crazy, man. I have no arms, no legs. How would I ever be able to do this or do that? But they encouraged me and they loved me. And as human beings, we're waiting for stuff like that. We all want love. I looked at myself and looked at everybody else and everyone else had more than me. And I'm asking, why? Why me? Have you ever asked the why me questions but get nowhere? If I had no answers from the doctors and if I had no answers from my parents, I still have a choice every day in my life to keep going. If you leave a seed of lies in your heart and in your mind and you don't know the truth, you don't know the truth, you will die with a lie. I started dying because I started believing what I was told. I want you to know the three things that I needed to come to in my life is the truth of my value, the truth of my purpose, and the truth of my destiny. I want you to know something. In our mind, we put ourselves down all the time. I could pretty much say that 98% of you have teased someone in your life. I tried to commit suicide because of people who thought they were having fun. Not knowing the hell that I was going through. The people you're teasing. What if the person you're teasing is the person who's thinking of committing suicide? What if the person you're teasing is the one who's tried to commit suicide? Who hates their life because of you? You don't know if the person you are teasing is the son or daughter of a drunk at home getting abused. And all they need is someone like you to keep on pushing them this way. We need hope. So find something else to do. Find positive things in your own life. I don't care about how you look. I will never, ever, ever tease you. Your value is not determined on your past. Your future is up to you today. You loving yourself, embracing yourself, not judging yourself, being able to forgive but being the best you can be proactively, being self-aware. Don't let you, yourself, get in the way of you. It's not to say that everything's possible. It's not to say that everything's smooth. No, we all go through ups and downs. But I needed to get out of my own way to reach my full potential and then take one day at a time. When you can't think of thriving and you can only think of surviving, mm -hmm. that's a reality. Mm -hmm. You've been through that, I've been through that. The strongest and motivational speakers have been through those seasons, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't beat yourself up. Take one day at a time and go one step at a time, and eventually we'll come out of that valley and come on the other side of that and say, wow, I'm glad I'm where I am. I'm either my biggest encourager or my biggest discourager, and that's where attitude comes in. You know, you have people in your life where they'll keep on beating you down, but if you keep on coming back up, they won't keep you down. And so for me, that was the fight that I had to have within myself. And I one day looked myself in the mirror um, after a big bullying day at school in Australia. And I looked myself in the eyes and said, there's got to be one good thing that I've got going. And just hold on to that, that no matter what happened and no matter what anyone else said that day, that I could hold on to deep inner strength to say no, but you know what? I know I couldn't play that sports activity, but I was watching and waiting for the first person to be eliminated out of that game. So then I could come over there by their side and look them in the eye and say, good job, better luck next time, how you doing? Mm -hmm.